In this example, I want to import a uh, surface uh, as a step file, and we're going to do some repair on that surface. Now, I'm going to do the repair in a construction environment, so I could go ahead and bring it directly into the construction environment, uh, but let's uh, tell it to bring it in as a composite so we can do a comparison. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and open up this file, and, um, and then I'm going to copy this to the construction environment. Uh, I've enabled the construction environment under tools, application options on the part tab. I set enable construction environment. And so I'm going to right click and copy this to construction. Now we could have opened it directly into construction. And so then up here uh, I see that I have a construction folder and in that construction folder I have a surface. Uh, I'm going to drag the end of part marker and I'm going to hide this uh, surface that uh, we originally imported and I'll double click on the construction environment and then I'm going to right click on uh, this surface and I'm going to unstitch that surface so I'll say apply and done to that so now I have two individual surfaces I'm going to extract the loop of each one of these surfaces the boundary loop so I'm going to extract a loop of this one and that will unstitch the surface or uh, it'll untrim it so I untrim that surface and I'm going to untrim this surface. And so I have the two original untrimmed defining surfaces. Now I don't want to see this surface, so I'm going with my selection filter set on select uh, features. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a new, uh, define a new group, and I'll turn off the visibility of that group. And then I'm going to move, uh, I'll do uh, move to group, and I'll move that second surface. Uh, to the hidden uh, group. It might make it easier if I uh, turn off translucency on this uh, surface so that we can uh, uh, see that uh, better. And then uh, I'm going to extend out the edge of this surface and I'm going to temporarily turn off the visibility of the wire so I want to extend that out. I will uh, do extend faces. I'll select this edge and I'm going to say let's say uh, 50 millimeters. And so what I've done, if I turn on the, the visibility of the wires, we see now I've extended the edge of that boundary out beyond the edge of the wires. Then I'm going to uh, trim using that boundary. And uh, so I'm going to do boundary trim and I'm going to select the uh, boundary that I would like to use. And so I'm going to select those wires I have one more. So I have a new boundary and it asks me to select a face or loop that I want to trim. I'm going to uh, select that uh, boundary of the surface. I'll say apply and done and now that is uh, trimmed uh, to the new wires. So I'm going to turn off the visibility of, of those wires and before I use this I want to check the quality of that surface. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a quality check and I'll say examine and it found a uh, issue uh, with the quality of the data so I'm going to click on this surface and I'm going to tell it to re uh, refit that face and I'll say done and then I'm going to run quality check one more time so I'll do quality check again and this time it says no issues I'll say done and notice the green check mark here that that passes the quality check I will now promote that to the modeling environment. So I'm going to uh, right click and I'll do copy object. I'm going to copy this as a surface body um, and I'll uh, delete the original although I keep, could keep this one but actually this was our original import down here. And so I'll say OK to that. I'll finish the construction environment and then I'll drag this down and uh, so I have the original and let's make those both uh, uh, turn off translucency. So there's my new one and uh, there was the original and um, you know you might see a little bit of uh, color uh, variation here uh, because those two surfaces are actually in the same location but we have that now uh, converted. I can delete the original that I imported and so I'll delete that and then if I want to get rid of the construction 
geometry I can uh, delete the original construction geometry and so I have my repaired surface notice the green check mark the repaired surface from the step file